each house, you know, is roughly three people per house, you know, two adults and one kid. I mean, that quadruples our population out here, which is just insane. We have one elementary school, we have one middle high school, and they're pretty full right now. We also don't have we also don't have a lot of jobs out here and so <laughs> I mean literally every day on the local Facebook page people are looking for a job. Does anybody know anybody hire? Anybody got any side work? And commercially they're talking about only adding six hundred thousand square feet of commercial space. That's not a lot if you know anything about warehouses and all that kind of stuff. 600,000 feet goes pretty quickly. So, I'm not sure what they're going to do or how they're going to figure that out. Uh, the nearest hardware store, like decent hardware store, is in Gainesville, which is an hour drive one way. And so that's another thing, you know, 2,700 homes and all the infrastructure and all that. You got to get the supplies from somewhere. So, obviously, they're going to open up a, a Home Depot or a Lowe's or something out here. Because we have Ace Hardware and they have some lumber and stuff, but they don't have anywhere near the kind of inventory capability to support something like that. And you know for a fact that builders are not going to drive two hours every single day for supplies and, and sometimes have to do it twice, you know, that's not going to happen. So, something, <laughs> something's coming, something big is coming and uh, a lot of people around here are not happy about it, including me. I'm not very happy about it either. It is going to... Uh, it's going to ruin the star views out here for one. Um, thankfully, the development will still be far enough away from us that we are not going to hear it. But, the, again, the star views are, will be ruined because all of that extra light pollution. I mean, and it's not very far away from our home either. I mean, uh, it isn't, it isn't. It's, you know, like probably six or seven miles away. So, you know, sort of far, but sort of not, you know, it's, and it's right down the street from us, one direct road straight to get there, basically, and um, so there's one thing that it's going to do for me is that, you know, all those homes will need plants, and so it's definitely going to increase my sales, but I really don't want that at the expense of what it's going to cost the city itself. It's, I like rural. I mean, that's why I'm buying the home in Japan where I'm buying it. Also, I, I like rural. I don't want to be in the city. I want to be away. I want, you know, like out here, sometimes I don't have to go into town for a week or two or something, you know. I, I like that. And it would be the same in Japan. I don't need to go into town that often, you know. So, yeah, yeah, a lot of people are, are a little upset about that. We're, we're a big farming community out here. You know, we do corn, peanuts, uh, hay, uh, pine trees, and our big thing is watermelon. So, two weeks ago, we had our watermelon festival out here. And that was, I don't know, because we didn't get to go. <laughs> we were working the farmer's market, but... You know, it's, it's a small community and we like it that way. Everybody's pretty nice out here. You know, there's not a lot of crime. And you don't hear the sirens and all that kind of crazy stuff. So, yeah, changes are coming. So, I'm figuring uh, it'll probably be five years before that is done. You know, they'll probably start it next year, I'd imagine, probably early next year. If not this year, you never know. I, I'm not really sure. It just got approved and all that kind of stuff. And so, who knows what's going on with it right now. They're kind of, they, they were trying to keep it extremely secretive, and they knew, and that's, that's the reason why. 
It's because they knew how much of an uproar it would cause in the town. And everybody's so upset about it. Because again, it's just it's going to ruin everything. There, we do not have the infrastructure for 10,000 people. We don't have the infrastructure for 5,000 people. We just don't. You know, we have, again, one school for basically every level, you know, and yeah, we have Walmart and Winn-Dixie and Dollar General, the only place where you can get food right now. All these are Publix, you go an hour in a game, so, you know, now we do have a lot of stuff, like I said, we have the Walmart, we have the Super Walmart, which is where we're going right now. Uh, we have McDonald's, we've got Burger King, we've got Taco Bell, we've got, you know, Tractor Supply, we've got a Chevy dealership, Ford dealership, Chrysler dealership, a um, bunch of different auto parts store like Advanced and O'Reilly and stuff like that. So we've got a lot, you know, there's a big Napa here, but yeah, and it's not much, you know, and it's not enough for that many people. So yeah, I don't know what in the world they're going to do. crazy. I, I don't think they really thought about the big picture. I don't think they really thought, oh, that's right, we're going to have to double or triple the size of all of our schools and, you know, like sewage, good luck. I mean, <laughs> you know, hey, yeah. But that does also explain why they're doing uh, high-speed fiber internet and just started this year because they knew something big was coming. <laughs> business knows, but the, the public doesn't, right? So, we're coming into town now. This is basically like the south end of town is where we come in at because we're south of Chiefland proper. We are an unincorporated Chiefland, whereas this is incorporated Chiefland. So, uh, right here at the light, when you go left, it goes into town. When you take a right, there's a few buildings, and then poof, you're out of town, basically. And to the right is actually where that big subdivision and everything is going. So they're extending it further south. So, yeah, that'll be interesting to watch. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on it. And I think what I'm probably going to do is, is do, uh, like, weekly drone videos and stuff out there once everything gets started and that would be kind of cool I think to be able to see and keep up on but yeah this is our main road here in Chiefland uh, there is basically nothing to the left and right of this street you know there you know you go a couple buildings down and then it's back out you know to homes and farmland so it's a very very small place you know, very very small uh, we got this light and then another light and then we're practically halfway through town already <laughs> there's not a lot of lights here you know if I really want to I can go kind of the back way and to get to basically anywhere in town is only one to two lights so yeah very small Up here at this light, if you take a right, that will take you out towards Gainesville. There's a big Circle K there on the right. They just put that in about a year and a half ago, roughly. We've got the middle high school on our left. You probably can't see it. Which is right there. Yeah. And behind it is the elementary school. Hello? Alright. We're all done there. So now, go back home. And we'll take you kind of the back way.
Isles, that's Manatee Springs, and the kids love to go out there. Even us. Kids, that's what I'm talking about. You, kids, my kids. <laughs>
surprising to me. You know, they're more of a secretive kind of animal, and I would think that they wouldn't want to be leading people to their their spot. They uh, I have one there's some cows over to the left. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, the the deer they uh like to sleep in the back of our property. I'm not sure why, because there's not a lot of cover. It's not, you know, there's not a ton of trees. Like across the street, there's 30 acres or 40 acres worth of forest, literally across our little baby road that we live on. So I, I don't know why they come into my little line of trees, but hey, I'll take it. I don't, I don't mind. They probably got started out there, you know, whenever the trees were younger. I mean, they were out there for 20 plus years, you know, so they've probably just been used to it for the last couple decades. I think they were somewhere between 22 and 25 years old whenever they chopped them down. They do core samples and stuff. And No septic, no anything. Uh, 